Hell Comes to Frog Town is a 1988 post-apocalyptic sci-fi film directed by Donald G. Jackson and R.J. Kaiser and starring Rowdy Roddy Piper, Sandal Bergman, William Smith, C.C. Varel, Suzanne Solari, Christy Summers, Nicholas Wirth, Brian Frank, and Rory Calhoun. The film opens with a difference of opinion. Down at the peace table. They were wrong. Well, how about that? Civilization has collapsed with the world trying to start over. William Smith has Sam Hell under arrest and is interrogating him about sexually assaulting his daughter. Jesus, this is our hero? Medtech interrupts him and takes Hell, ending with Sandal Bergman already kicking ass in this movie. Their job is to repopulate the earth with a new war in making babies. Hey, it's just like marriage! Now, Medtech's main assignment is to locate and impregnate fertile women in the wastelands. Now, we need potent young men in the fields to assist in this great work. Men who can take care of themselves. This kind of feels like Escape from New York, except the mission is to sling your dick around instead of saving the president. Spangle and Sam meet up with Sentinel and they head off into the wasteland. They stop at the border with even more blatant William Smith, leading to a Mexican standoff, but they eventually are allowed to pass. Sam learns that the mission is to go to Frogtown, rescue a group of fertile ladies, and then have Sam put buns in each of their ovens. I got one of the roses, huh? No armed escort? You're not going far. No, just right there behind that bush. Be right back. He's gonna make a run for it. See you later, sisters. Much later. <laughs> Talk about shocking the monkey. It's night at camp, and this is seduction. <laughs> that didn't go well. Then later that night... Holy shit! Busted. As they approach Frogtown, they spot a woman who they promptly tie up and drug her the prepper for sex with Sam. You can start now. What are you talking about? Let's go. Oh, come on. I can't work like this. Come on, Hellman. It's late, and I'm tired. She's never ever brushed her teeth. Wow, this is a 1980s movie that's showing some morals when it comes to drugging women for sex. What are you doing? Relax. I've been trained in seduction techniques. So she has a subscription to Cosmo. I like to watch. So does this guy. The next morning, the girl gives some info on Frogtown and then gets a pass to Pregger's Land. The Border Patrol will pick up your signal and evacuate you to a medtech hospital. No, 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 don't worry. Mothers are national heroes. You'll be treated like a queen. And it only took a nuclear war for that to happen. Spangle's plans include some kinky cosplay, so she becomes Sam's prisoner, and they head to Frogtown. They arrive and stop in a local bar filled with frog people! Bartender, give me a drink. What kind? <laughs> That's why you ask. Sam runs into his longtime buddy Looney, who's in town assisting in uranium mining. I love you. Do you want to talk about it? She's our contact. A handmaiden to the harem at Toadie's palace. I love you is the code phrase. I mean, everything's going to plan. Don't worry, that plan will be fucked soon. Looney sets up a meeting with bar owner Leroy to sell Spangle to him, but Bull barges in and has an auction declaring himself the winner. I bid five. Ain't good enough. Not a chance. Plan fucked. 
Arabella meets up with Sam and then tries to get it on with him, but he has a provision. What the shit? That's DCR. And he's saved by exploding genitalia. Sam goes looking for Spangle and watches the deal go down featuring this guy and the frogs who are getting some weapons and shit. They both get captured and what the hell? Bull prepares to remove the cock piece as Spangle is getting prepped to do the dance of the three snakes. Three snakes? Sounds like one of those videos. Bull removes the cock piece, which, surprise, there's no explosives. It's a fake. She tricked me. <laughs> I guess it were. <laughs> Sam should probably thank Bull for getting him out of having sex with a lizard later. Spangle gets dragged to the disco floor as Looney fires a flare, alerting Sentinella to head on over. Hey, I was just kidding about the three dong thing. Spangle kicks Toadie's entourage and Sam arrives to get the harem and bolt from this joint. They load up their ride and haul ass out of there. You're really something. I told you my plan would work. That means the shit's about to hit the fan. Looney dies as a frog's attack with artillery. They run through the desert with near miss after near miss. That didn't even touch the vehicle. Count Sodom busts him, and surprise, it's William Smith. He monologues about trading weapons for uranium to build his own nuke, then gets kebobbed. <laughs> He's still alive? How? <laughs> Are you sure this time? Sam and Tony fight on a cliff. Holy shit! With Sam eventually getting a hand for his trouble. He heads back thinking everyone is dead, but ha ha, fooled you! What do you mean when I'm finished my duties? Ha! He's going to bed all those ladies. Hell Comes to Frogtown is a pretty cool concept with Rowdy Roddy Piper playing a hybrid between Snake Plissken and Jack Burton. I guess Kurt Russell wasn't available. But don't fret, Roddy is a gem in this movie. The problem arises when it feels like halfway through, the movie hits the fast forward button to get everything wrapped up. It feels like they're rushing everything in the end, especially after the kind of almost slow burn in the first half of the film, that's really to its detriment. Hell Comes to Frogtown goes from really bringing something new to the genre in 1988 to just being, I guess, drowned in cliches in the second half of the film, really just making it your average flick. I gotta tell you, you are one weird dude.